For 10,000 years, the Eye of Terror has spewed its ageless horrors into the galaxy, gnawing at the eternal glories of the Imperium, at the very soul of mankind itself. And for every one of those 10,000 years, the fortress world of Cadia has held the gate closed. An adamantium bastion, granted strength by flesh and bone, and seeded purpose by faith in the Emperor's holy light. But as the darkness grew ever deeper, and the blaze of the Astronomicon guttered like a wind-blown candle, The Eye of Terror, Pulse, its baleful energy spilling anew across the stars. With a shriek that echoed through nightmares from Medusa to Ultramar, the Black Fleet slipped its moorings. An endless tide of heretics, traitors, demons, and madmen, whose desperate fealty was given over to a single damned soul. Abaddon the Despoiler, inheritor of the arch-traitor Horus's reviled legacy, the 13th Black Crusade, herald to a fresh age of nightmare, had begun. Stalwart Cadia would be the first to feel its wrath. A Blackstone fortress! Without our shields, that accursed hulk will scour Cadia clean! Repairs to the Null Array are underway. We require only a matter of days. The Magos asks for time. I have none to give. My wolves will buy all that he needs. I'll ask my battle barge to prepare for my arrival. By the Fang, I'll not die without a fight. Sven Bloodhow, stalwart of a brotherhood famed for their courage. But sometimes, courage is not enough. Initialization failed. Null array inert. Insufficient power. Insufficient power. Rerouting. Reroute failed. Power surge. Processing. No data. Power building. Null Array deploying. Thus did Cadia earn respite. Not through the bravery of Sven Bloodhound, nor the labors of Magus Clan, but through the intercession of a mysterious benefactor. But the respite was short-lived, as the cheers faded, traitor warships blackened the skies. The siege of Cadia Secundus had begun. The forces of the Despoiler came in numbers uncounted, but the walls of Casa Craft held. Even in that darkest of days, the flame of humanity's valor burned bright. With faith burning in their hearts, the defenders held the Chaos Hordes at bay, uncaring of the losses they bore in exchange. But flesh fails and faith flickers. With every bloody moment, Abaddon's forces drew closer to victory.
March Magos. Your reputation precedes you, but you choose a bleak time to come to Cadia. Bleaker than you know. My adepts uncovered pylons on Area 6. They are a perfect match for those present on Cadia, but were reduced to null during the Fourth Black Crusade. Abaddon. His malice holds greater purpose than we knew. Agreed. Ruined pylon fields have been discovered on many worlds. All are made by the Despoiler. Why? Their heritage is alien, their purpose unknown. The pylons' forges remain shrouded, known only to the Omnissiah. But their purpose is revealed. They contain the Eye of Terror. If they are destroyed, the Immaterium will claim all. The Imperium will be no more. The pylons must be safeguarded. They are our only weapon against the encroachment of chaos. But I need time to study. Go, make your studies. May the Emperor guide you. Destroy me if you wish. Nothing will change. For me, for you, for this world. Show me! Admiral, this is madness. Entering real space so close to a planet, you'll doom us all. A good officer commands without doubt, and obeys without question. Entering real space in three, two, one. Blessed Emperor, we're in the heart of the fight. This is Admiral Catalia to Battle Group Silver Dawn. Form up. Incoming enemy squadrons! Race for impact. We've lost the purity blade! Silver Dawn to Cadian High Command. Where do you need us? This battle is lost! We must disengage! Coward! Commissar! Do your duty! As the Emperor wills! Incoming transmission! Phalanx to Silver Dawn. This is Commodore Chalot. Situation critical. Chaos forces have launched a full-scale planet strike. They aim to destroy the pylons of the Elysium fields. They must not succeed. Reinforce the position. The phalanx will cover your back. Remain vigilant. We have reports that the despoiler leads the assault. The Emperor protects. The Emperor protects. Silver Dawn, this is the Admiral. All ahead full. Prospects readings indicate unusual energy signatures at the Elysium fields. Explain. I need more. By the Emperor. On the size, Grace. This is beyond my experience. Analyzing. Hurry. What are we looking at? Analyzing complete. The pylons. The energy beam is. Repelling the eye of terror. 
How is that possible? No matter. Our duty remains. Prepare for planet strike. Incoming transmission. It's the Phalanx. The Despoiler has retreated to the vengeful spirit to lick his wounds. We cannot let this opportunity slip away. All vessels, engage the vengeful spirit. For the salvation of mankind and vengeance long due, we will destroy this abomination once and for all. This is Admiral Catalia to Battlegroup Silver Dawn. We have our orders, and we're closer than anyone else. Today, the Arch Traitor dies at our hands. Divert all power to weapons. Load torpedoes. We are the Emperor's fury. We shall not fail. Spirit is firing. Sustaining hull damage. Structural breaches on all decks. No! No! Weapon system, critical. Reactor, critical. Fires reported on all decks. We are heavily damaged. Estimated crew loss, 65,000. The Vengeful Spirit intercepted our torpedoes. No significant damage. What? What have I done? My pride. My arrogance. Additional Chaos vessels inbound. Very well. If that is how this ends, if we are to die, let it be with the Emperor's light in our eyes and his fury in our voice. We fight on. All hands. One last effort before they overwhelm us. Admiral, the enemy are paving the way. No. You must be mistaken. Confirmed. They are moving towards the wreckage of the Blackstone Fortress. What? What are they doing? Officer, transmit a wideband message to all forces on Cadia. Tell them to evacuate the planet. 